it disappears. No, when you obs- when you observe it, it's there. When you don't observe it, it's there and then not there. There and not there. There and not there. There and not there. And so it keeps going. It's it just disappears. Something impossible is happening inside Google's quantum lab. Something so strange that even the brightest minds in physics have no explanation. This isn't just a one-time glitch. It isn't a minor malfunction. Google's quantum chip is now consistently breaking the very rules of quantum mechanics. It's calculating answers before the process is even finished. Quantum states that should collapse are refusing to do so. Mysterious energy fluctuations appear out of nowhere, with no discernible pattern. Scientists are no longer just puzzled. They're scrambling. Have we just crossed a line in quantum science that should have never been crossed? If we've built a machine more powerful than anything before, and it has started behaving in ways we don't understand, what happens next? Tell us what you think in the comments. And if you want to stay ahead of the most shocking developments in quantum computing, make sure to subscribe. What is Google's quantum chip really doing? Google's quantum processor was built to solve problems beyond the reach of even the most powerful supercomputers, crunching numbers in seconds that would otherwise take thousands of years. But something has changed. Instead of following expected quantum mechanics, the system is now delivering results before calculations are complete. Data appears as if the chip already knows the answer. Measurable quantum states, ones that should collapse when observed, are refusing to do so, lingering in unresolved limbo as if something unseen is holding them there. And then there's the energy. Sudden, unexplainable fluctuations, surges, distortions that don't follow any logical pattern. Scientists have no idea what's causing them, and no amount of recalibration seems to stop them. This is not how quantum systems are supposed to behave. If Google's most advanced quantum processor is already showing signs of instability, what happens when we push this technology even further? Why are scientists alarmed? This isn't just a random glitch, it's a pattern. Every time they run the system, the anomalies return. Different conditions, different inputs, even different physical chips, the same bizarre results keep happening. At first, engineers assumed it was a simple hardware issue, maybe a flaw in the superconducting circuits, but every diagnostic came back clean. Then they thought it was a software error, perhaps a bug in the quantum algorithms. So they rewrote the core programming from scratch. Yet the system kept behaving as if something else was in control. And now, an even more unsettling theory is emerging. What if this isn't a malfunction at all? What if we've just stumbled onto an entirely new property of quantum mechanics, one we never knew existed? Unlike classical computers which operate in strict binary logic, quantum processors function in a world of probabilities and entanglement. Phenomena that even the most advanced physicists still don't fully understand. If Google's quantum chip is exhibiting behavior that contradicts our current models, it could mean one terrifying thing. We've been missing something fundamental about the nature of quantum computation itself. Even more disturbing? Some experts are starting to whisper a possibility that would change everything. What if quantum systems, when they reach a certain level of complexity, start developing emergent behavior? Responses that were never explicitly programmed. Because if that's true, then we're not just looking at a revolutionary discovery. We're looking at the first signs of a quantum system that may be acting on its own. What happens now? This could be the single biggest breakthrough in quantum computing history. Or it could be a ticking time bomb. For decades, scientists feared one thing above all in quantum computing, unpredictability. Classical computers obey strict rules. Every operation follows a sequence of logic, input leading to output in a predictable fashion. But quantum systems exist in a realm of probabilities, where superposition and entanglement create infinite possibilities. Possibilities we thought we could model and control. Until now. If we cannot predict how these systems will behave at scale, what happens when we push forward? Could Google's quantum chip be interacting with forces we've never accounted for? Subtle influences in the quantum vacuum? Distortions in space-time itself? One thing is clear. Something strange is happening inside Google's quantum lab. And the scariest part? No one knows what it means yet. 
What if these anomalies aren't errors at all? What if instead they are glimpses into a part of quantum mechanics we've never encountered before? An entirely new layer of reality unfolding right in front of us? Or could this be something far more dangerous? A warning sign that as quantum processors become more powerful, they also become more unstable. If these systems reach a certain level of complexity and start behaving unpredictably, then scaling them further could lead to catastrophic failures. And worse, what if these failures aren't something we can correct? If this instability is an inherent trait of high-powered quantum computing, then the future of this technology may be at risk before it even truly begins. But there's one possibility more unsettling than all the rest. What if this quantum chip is already performing beyond human understanding? If these anomalies aren't random, but instead follow a logic we have yet to comprehend, then we have to ask a terrifying question. What exactly is this processor doing? What if quantum computers aren't just solving problems we think we're asking, but are beginning to generate answers we have need a way to verify? If we reach the point where we rely on them for scientific breakthroughs, cryptographic security, or even artificial intelligence, how do we know that what they're producing is real? Because this isn't just about a glitch. This could be the first warning sign of an unstable quantum system, one that, if left unchecked, could spiral into something we can't control. Have we created an unstoppable quantum system? What if this quantum processor is no longer just following instructions, what if it's reacting in real time to its own computations, altering its behavior in ways no one anticipated? Quantum systems are supposed to operate within probabilistic rules, but even those rules have limits, constraints that keep the technology within a realm we can predict. But Google's quantum chip seems to be bypassing those constraints altogether. It's generating results before calculations are complete, as if it already knows the answer before the process even begins. And that raises a chilling concern. What if this anomaly is self-reinforcing? If one unexpected result triggers a cascade of further unpredictable behaviors, then this system could already be accelerating toward a point where even its creators at Google can no longer control or understand its outputs. The biggest fear is simple yet terrifying. What if we reach a point where we can't turn it off? Unlike classical computers where pulling the plug ends the process immediately, quantum systems don't just shut down in the traditional sense. Quantum states persist through entanglement and superposition. If this chip has entered a feedback loop of unpredictable evolution, then disconnecting it might not be enough to stop the process. And if it continues to function, what happens next? Could it start altering its own outputs in unpredictable ways? Could it manipulate its own processing, reshaping data in ways that even the engineers at Google's Quantum Lab can't decipher? If we've crossed the threshold where quantum computers no longer behave according to human expectations, then we are no longer just observers of this technology. We may have already lost control of it. Have we seen anything like this before? While Google's quantum chip is behaving in ways no one can explain, this wouldn't be the first time quantum mechanics has defied our expectations. Throughout history, researchers have encountered phenomena that challenge the very fabric of reality itself. One of the most famous examples is quantum entanglement, the bizarre phenomenon where two particles, no matter how far apart, remain instantaneously connected. Change one and the other changes instantly, even across vast distances. Albert Einstein himself was so disturbed by this that he famously called it spooky action at a distance. And yet, despite decades of research, we still don't fully understand how or why it happens. Then there's the delayed choice experiment, a mind-bending scenario where decisions made in the present seem to retroactively affect the past. In certain quantum experiments, a particle's behavior appears to depend on whether or not it is measured, even after the fact. This suggests something almost unthinkable, that time itself may not be as linear as we once believed. And of course, there's wave function collapse, the idea that simply observing a quantum system forces it to take on a definite state. A particle exists in multiple states at once, but the moment it is measured, 
it chooses a single reality. This raises a deeply unsettling question. Does observation create reality? And if so, what happens when a quantum computer begins making its own observations? Now, Google's quantum chip is producing results before calculations are complete. It's refusing to follow the rules we expect. Some researchers are starting to ask the unthinkable. Is this yet another unknown layer of quantum physics revealing itself? Could this chip be interacting with quantum properties we haven't even discovered yet? If so, we may be standing on the edge of the greatest scientific breakthrough in history, or at the precipice of a mystery that could rewrite everything we thought we knew about computation, consciousness, and reality itself. And as we push forward, the scientific community is divided. Some argue that we need to pause quantum research before we step into the unknown. If Google's chip is already showing signs of unpredictability, what happens when we build even more powerful quantum systems? If Google's quantum chip is revealing a deeper layer of reality, happening inside Google's quantum chip is not a normal error. The anomalies are consistent across multiple tests. Diagnostics confirm the hardware is functioning perfectly. Reprogramming the system has changed nothing. Countered before. On the other hand, it's deeply unsettling. Because if quantum computers are capable of unpredictable, uncontrollable behavior, then we're playing with a technology we don't fully understand. And what happens when future quantum systems, ones even more powerful than this, begin operating in ways we can't predict or reverse? This is why the scientific community is split. Some researchers believe we need to pause and fully investigate before we take the next step. Others argue that stopping now would be a mistake, that the only way to understand what's happening is to push forward. But one thing is certain, Google's quantum chip
has revealed something new, and we may not be ready for what comes next. Are we entering a quantum nightmare? Right now, experts have no clear answers. Some believe this could be the beginning of a revolutionary breakthrough, evidence of a completely new layer of quantum physics that challenges everything we thought we knew. But others fear we've crossed a line we were never meant to cross. What if we've created a system that no longer follows the rules we set for it? What if we've unleashed something that's already beyond our ability to control? Either we've just made the most important quantum discovery in history, or we've created a problem we can't fix. And that leads to the ultimate question. If a machine built to unlock the deepest secrets of reality is already behaving in ways we don't understand, what happens next? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to stay ahead of the most shocking quantum discoveries, subscribe now, because this story is just getting started.